So as you think about the evolution of your personal role in the industry and the role of the CDO now being charged with capturing and identifying that value, is it getting any easier to measure or prove the value or how can we do better as an industry on this? That's a, once again, a great question. And I think two things that are critical in order for you to success there. First is a CEO that will believe in that. And my first chief data officer role was appointed by the CEO, even though I wasn't reporting directly to him, but he got me back from, from the U.S. And he told me, I want us to have kind of the first, one of the first chief data officer. I don't know where he got it from, but he, he knew that he wanted this. And I was working in this company before as the BI manager, right? So he knew I know everything about kind of the technical pieces of that, but now he wants to make something on the business side as well. By the way, one of his best decisions was that I will be dual reporting both to the CMO, chief marketing officer, and the CIO. So because he understood it won't be just a CIO side or a CMO side, it will be both. That was a great decision then. Second, beside kind of the, the sponsorship of the CEO here, and this is something you really learn to do um, while you grow, is don't waste your time where it's not going to happen. Focus your efforts on the places that you see that it is going to be a successful thing, and then the organization will have the tolerance for the most challenging areas. So those quick wins and quick successes are a necessity for a good start and later on a good journey. Otherwise, you will start maybe with the big things, but nothing will happen. And I think this is a great, great success criteria. Yeah, I think that is good advice. Come back to the harder things or the bigger things, but build that portfolio of successes early and fast. 